Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. We are, uh, we're in a bit of a predicament, are we not? If you remember from the last episode, we had our, our grand meeting with the Duke. And then Theos came in and, by proxy, seems to have assassinated him. And then wandered out of here after causing us to collapse. We now need to get to Lady Webb, as this kind dying guard said. And try to tell her what happened. I'm worried she's not going to be there. But we need to go. And it needs to be now. We're not going to look around. Sidley. I will talk to Sidley though. Don't go out there. There's rioting on the streets. I don't really have a choice. The question is, should I go out the side door instead? I'm not going to. We will face whatever is outside. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this has happened. Well, I can. Okay. Let's go. Stand down, we don't want to fight you. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what we're going to run into. Uh, we need to get down here. Oh god, Justicia killed Commoner. It's all happening. These lot are in league with the animators. Okay, we don't want to be anywhere near the combat. We need to just get the hell out of here. Oh, that's interesting. I was not allowed to pick the destination. I was going to say, what if we just left, but we're not allowed to? Anamance's boots. I mean, we'll look at them later, I suppose. Damage reduction from shock. Jolting touch is a spell that we can be granted. Fair enough. Can I get past you lot? Ask the commoners. They're burning it. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. This place is going to be wrecked. I guarantee it. This place is going to be wrecked. And I reckon Theos... Well, Theos will have taken Lady Webb or killed her. Look at that. It's wrecked. Confirmed. Confirmed. We will loot the cash. I'm not going to look around in the rest of downstairs, though. Let's let's at least stick to the story a bit and we would rush to Lady Webb. She won't be there. Or she'll be dead. Or dying. We'll loot these guys. They are on the way. This sucks. I knew this was going to happen. I said it before we even left, didn't I? Yep. Go on then. Lady Webb lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath a gash in her chest is tacky and nearly dry. A shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangling hand. You can feel the faint aura of her fading essence in your ken. What the hell's a ken? Reach out for it. You make contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Through the walls and from streets outside come the sounds of screams and shattering glass and the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip and it warms your gullet. Across the room, the door opens behind a patient, steady push. Into the room walks Theos, the floorboards creaking beneath deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy has trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You are concentrating, focusing with all of your energy. It feels as though you are diving into a stone wall over and over. But it cracks suddenly unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of a thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? She did. I've had time to practice. Ah. He walks over to a small table and raises a half-empty brandy bottle to eye level. He seems to approve of the selection and begins to reach for an empty glass. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. He replaces the brandy bottle on the table with care before approaching the bedside. He sits on the edge of the bed next to you. His words come freely, absent of all doubt. He draws a long, curved knife from his belt, smeared with fresh blood. With the, his left hand, he gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife in the other, its point dangling above your heart. Prove it. Theos slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness, 
and blood wells up around the blade. A pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor and you hear it shatter. With the last of your strength, you take his knife hand in both of yours, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the answer comes. Simple, cataclysmic in its reordering of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've searched for all your life, but in your own mind, her understanding lies just beyond your reach. You look at Theos with the wide eyes of someone seeing for the first time and draw your last breath as a black, velvety darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself. Ah, I see. I see. So we are now into the next act. And we've got to go. Oh, Searing Falls is there. Was that there the whole time? Have we been to Searing Falls? Maybe. But we've now got to go to Twin Elms. So presumably we have to go to Deerford Crossing. But I might go to Cadnua first. Travel to Twin Elms. The Assassin at Large. We still have these other quests and tasks. Well, obviously, that's the Endless Paths anyway. Um, but Cinders of Faith. She's obviously in the city. She was in the palace, in fact. In in the Magron's, you know, um, prayer room, whatever it was. Where the shrine was. The shrine, that's the one. So, presumably, she's still going to be there. And maybe we can go back inside and everything's going to be normal. But we shall leave for now. Ah, the floods have receded. The pass through Stormwall Gorge is open. There you go. I see. So we can go this way to Hearthsong. We can also go... I don't know. Have we been to Searing Falls? I don't know why. I just can't remember. But I think we're going to go back to the Stronghold first. We've also got some level ups. Uh, I suppose we'll do the level ups before we go. Was that, a, was that a gold plate? As you cross the bridge, Alof draws up beside you. The fires of Defiance Bay cast a shivering, flickering light uh, across one half of his face. The other is in darkness. Please stop. I need to tell you something. <laughs> Don't tell me you've got another personality tucked away in there. Go ahead. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. Well, we knew that. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of Anamancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. Okay. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Anamancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. Okay. Uh, what did you want from me? I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape of the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned that you'd survive that Beowick. And I thought you might be able to put me back on the Leaden Keys trail. Right. 
And I was correct in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to stop Anamancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. And now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Anamancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. Apology accepted, as long as you don't forget who's in charge. Um, finished with you, get out of my sight. No, I, I like number three, I already read it while he was talking. I forgive you, Aloth, but I want you beside me, not behind me. I'm not asking you to trade one master for another. That would be an honor. Let's go. All good, my guy. That is a gold plate. Right, let's just get to the other side of the bridge, and then we will do our level ups. Of which we have three. Right, Brucor, looking like a snack in that very creepy mask. Or helm, I should say. How are you, what are we doing? I was, did I put that point in mechanics last time? I wouldn't mind getting a certain level of mechanics, you know. I realise that we can go higher on survival. But I think I want to do that. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's a waste at this point. Is that a bit of a waste? Maybe it is. Mm, I'm really unsure what I want to do. Uh, we could just see keep the points for now while we decide. Because I can't do athletics or survival anyway. Let's keep the points for now. Oh, it means that we have to level up again to use them, of course. I can't just do it whenever I want. But do I really want to pump those into mechanics just now? Potentially not. I'm going to leave it. Right. We have an unlock. Blooded. Extra damage when we've got low endurance. Obviously, we've looked at all these already. I just can't remember. Um, attack fortitude instead of deflection if fortitude is lower. That could be really good. Don't care about wild sprint. One stands alone. If you're adjacent to two or more enemies, you do more damage. That could be a play. Or we could just get thick skin for extra DR. Barbaric shout. Terrify. What do we have right now? What does our shout do now? I thought it was terrify. Maybe it isn't. Bloodlust. Uh, personally downed at least two enemies. That doesn't seem very reliable. That's a final revenge when a barbarian reduces zero endurance, causing him or her to perform an instant carnage full attacks uh, to everyone in range. Or bloodthirst. Recover immediately after killing an enemy is pretty cool. Um, I kind of like one stands alone. I realize it doesn't do extra damage, though, generally. Maybe brute force would be better. I might do that, because then when we've got enemies with high deflection, we've still got good, good attack on them. Let's do that. Let's do brute force. I like it. Adair. Oh, we need to talk to him as well. Um, athletics? Should we just go go like all the way to 10? Get a higher heal and stuff? Why not? Why not? Okay, we still don't have a weapon specialization. Speed penalty I don't care about. Unbending. Three per rest. Uh, okay, basically 50% of the endurance damage you take, you can heal over time. Okay, it passively increases damage. That's just a guardian stance that gives other people nearby a bit of an aura. Critical defense. This is just a straight buff to his defense. Converting 20% of crits to hits, 10% of hits to grazes. That's pretty... Maybe critical defense is in the lead right now for what I really want with him. I mean, you can do clear out. I don't really like... Stock it up on stuff that is uh, per rest. Just feels a bit rough. But we can do... I mean, I suppose that's a really good crowd control to get people repositioned. That's not a bad shout. We don't really have to get the critical defense right now. Because he doesn't usually take too much damage. 
Clear out might be an option. Disengagement attacks. Increased accuracy damage and will knock enemies prone. Actually, that's a pretty good one as well, because people do try to run away from him all the time. Immunity to frightened and terrified is also good. I actually kind of like overbearing guard, because units, <laughs> units, enemies do try to disengage from him. I'm going to take it. Uh, we'll talk to you in a minute. Let's just do Alof's level up. Oh, sigani has got one as well. I missed that. Uh, mechanics, for sure. Right, so we can get two spells. Um, so actually, let's just double check your grimoire. Because I can't remember off the top of my head where we stand. You need... To, oh yeah, you've got no level 5 spells and you can take a level spore. A uh, level spore? Yes, a level 4 spell. Uh, maybe we just take two level 5 spells. Maybe we take one level 5 and one level 4. What have we got? Okay, it's a debuff. Creating two less powerful versions of the effect that jumps nearby enemies. Okay, when the first one ends. So it's a bit of a chained debuff. Blast of Frost. Anyone caught in this? A cone area effect. I really don't want the cone. Okay, momentarily make everyone fall asleep unconscious. Spirit Lance. Creates a pike of pure magical force that deals pierce damage and causes foe-only blast explosion like ones do. It's foe only. I'm kind of here for it, but it's a it's a weapon that we're creating. I'm not super into the whole summoning um, temporary weapons thing, but you never know. We'll see how it plays out. Um, whenever you hit 50% endurance, he or she immediately knocks all immediately close enemies prone while gaming a DR bonus. That's not bad. Defensively. Why am I not? Hello? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cloud of virulent poison, raw damage to anyone in the cloud every few seconds. It's a little bit dodgy when it's an AoE that sits there for 14 seconds, because it's hard to keep my allies from moving into it. It's a mooring. Target is hit with a stuck affliction, becomes an anchor for a frigid ray of energy from the wizard that does freeze damage to creatures in its path. Interesting. I like that, but again, a little bit tough with allies in narrow corridors. Enemies in the air effect to envision their worst fears, causing them to be weakened and terrified. And it might not be a bad shout to get some debuffs in here. Torrent of Flame instantiates a terrifying inferno of flame around the caster, inflicting burn damage on everyone nearby. Dangerous. Wall of Force creates a semi-permeable barrier that inflicts crush damage and hobbles enemies when they pass through it, but leaves allies unscathed. Kind of here for it. Um, it's not the most damage, that's for sure. But it does hobble them and lower their... Lower their dexterity, movement, and reflex. It's not, it doesn't seem very powerful. Form of the Helpless Beast. Kind of transforms a single kith enemy into a pig. The pig has poor defenses but can move quickly. So polymorph, essentially. But we can still damage at the same time. Kind of like that. We've got some good options here. They're just a little bit friendly fire dangerous. I think I might take the Polymorph, and then we'll grab a level 4 spell. Maybe Wall of Flame? Again, can be a little bit dangerous with allies. Enemies pulled towards... Um, that could be really useful, pulling all enemies into one spot. You could actually use it in combo with Wall of Flame, but... This is one of those things where if your main character was a wizard, maybe you would micromanage all the spells a bit better. Gives the caster access to up to three free third or lower spells from the target spell list. Steal three spells of level three or lower from the target. The wizard can subsequently cast those spells an unlimited number of times for the duration. That's pretty cool. Spell reflection. Uh, damage reduction, flame shield. Flame Shield might not be a bad shout, you know. Because he does get attacked sometimes. Uh, the only problem is, what else am I going to take with level 4? Because like I say, if I'm going to take the pull, it'd be really good to have like the wall with it, or even the toxic cloud, the malignant, malignant cloud, sorry. Um, or malignant? Malignant, right? Yes, malignant. 
then you could have the cloud of poison and then drag them all in with the pull, which would be pretty cool. But again, that's a lot of micromanaging. We don't typically micromanage him that much. I think flame shield is a good option for him and the, the polymorph as well. Spell mastery. What? You get an improved one. Is that what we're saying? What do you mean? What do you mean by spell mastery? Because we already have these, right? Not all of them. Well, I suppose I'm going to take minor missiles. I'm a little bit confused, but that's fine. I assume we've made it more powerful. We can obviously cast yeah. missiles a bunch of times. Well. Uh, Sigani then. We have survival 10. <laughs> Maybe we'll put you into mechanic. Although we had got athletics, athletic, athletics going as well. We'd also got stealth going. I'm not super bothered about it. And I don't really think it benefits her that much. And we probably shouldn't have done it. Why don't we start getting mechanics? Right. Oh, yeah. Um, faster reloads and attack speed, but less accuracy. Could be good, actually. Uh, or we could keep buffing the... Um, Buffing Itumak, which I don't mind at all. AoE attacks. Accuracy when attacking the same target. Takedown is a nice... Um, well, Itumak can knock people prone. Does damage as well. And it rushes a target, actually. Finding roots. Not too fussed on that one. Deflection against ranged attacks. Vicious aim. Uh, this is the opposite, where we, have, we fire slower but do more damage. Revive Companion. That might be a shout. Or we could Heal Companion. Two per encounter. I think I'm going to get Heal Companion. Because we often see his endurance getting low and we can't heal. Right, Adair. Say what you want about dear woodens. They haven't met the problem yet. They couldn't solve by killing some scapegoats. Big true. He flashes a hollow smile. And that is a wonderful commentary for many of humanity's failings. <laughs> You fight for people because you see something there that deserves defending. Even more so because someone you trust sees it too. Then you turn around and they do something like this. And the person who made you want to help them is gone. Um, I don't want to be arrogant. Like people will never fail to disappoint without guidance. We'll just say they're doing what they think the gods want of them. It's nice that they mean well. But how can organized murder be their best guess? Although, come to think of it, maybe they're just following Widewind's example. He was purging his own long before the Deerwood got the idea, only he was purging because they weren't Eothasian e enough. Never thought I'd find myself missing the hospitality back home. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Right. Sure. We must have been to Searing Falls, right? I know. I just want to check that we've been there, because I honestly can't remember. Also, I hope this isn't where the cave is with the pools. We have not been here. Okay. Uh, someone's asking for an audience. I do want to go back to um, Cadnua. But I think we'll explore this area first. Nice and quiet. Yes, nice and quietly. We'll speed it up. Just... Whoa! Oh, will we though? Oh god. Oh god. Ranged weapons, lads? Ranged weapons, lads? I mean, you're absolutely welcome to go and try and knock that Drake over from the sky. Hey. You might want to heal it to me <laughs> at the first opportunity. Now? Okay, nice. See? We're all frightened because we're, we, we're all stood too, too close together. We should really split up. Anyway, for the time being, we're rolling. How are we doing? Near death. We're fine. Uh, that said, that's the young one. There is a bigger one. Let's go. However, I think we have... Can we knock it over? It's max gaming. Let's go for another heal. We didn't even use our wounding shot, which is kind of annoying. Oh, I like that heal though. That's big. Steady does it. 
Drake Talon. Uh, oh, you just leveled up. Fair enough. I don't really know what the hell we're doing with you. Will we go mechanics with you as well, just to make it really weird? I don't really mind just getting mechanics on everyone. Uh, <laughs> at least to a certain point. Right. Ringleader. So we can get level 5. Imprints an insidious and powerful compulsory to obey the cipher across all enemies. Dominating the target and charming all others. Borrowed instinct. Ransacks the enemy's intelligent, uh, intellect and perception for energy. Causing damage to those enemy attributes while boosting the Cypher's defenses and accuracy. That's kind of cool. Uh, detonate. Splinters the target's soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage to them. Targets with low endurance explode, causing crushed damage to all in the area of effect. That sounds like it'd be really risky, though. Tactical meld. Connects the mind of Cypher to an ally to gain the ally's knowledge of his or her enemy. Bestowing an attack bonus upon the Cypher towards the enemy who the ally is attacking. I think... Ring leader and tactical meld. There we go. Quick level up. Is that really not something we can... Oh, that is. Oh! Got some baddies there. Let's fight the baddies. Hey. Hmm. Let's go. That didn't work. It's back. Rico. Ow. Never mind. Un unrequired. It's not a word. Not required is the... Uh... Okay, a bunch of Jarib crap and some Primal Flame. This could be the multicolored pools. It's looking pretty reasonable. This tunnel... Uh, the tunnel burrows into the depths as far as the eye can see. The crystal waters are perfectly transparent. Hello there. Don't mind if I shoot you in the face. I mean, Brucor... What you're going to need to do now is go and engage here because that's a bit of a, a cluster, to say the least. Luckily, that AoE damage is just going to be absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious that he just cleaves everyone when there's loads of little Jarrets there. Awesome. Very nice. Right. Uh, ooh, should we go? I'll tell you what we'll sure. do. We'll go up here and go this way. Hello, Hello there. All right, let's get organized. <laughs> We're going a bit fast. This is why you're... Okay, looks like there's more of them here. I still think we'll be... Okay, there's quite a few. <laughs> I still think we'll be okay. Disengage attack, not ideal, but it is what it is. Split up. Heal. Looks like you have access to that. Bumper encounter. Oh, you get... Oh, I see what it is now. You get that for free. Anyway, anyway meanwhile, you're dying because I've not really been paying attention. Uh, let's go and... How, how barely injured. Excellent. <laughs> Hopefully you do get the knock away. Doesn't look like you did. Let's heal. Probably too late. Too little, too late. 
Oh, there's a fire elemental here as well. I missed that. Will you go and help Scott? Oh, never mind. She doesn't need help. She's gaming. Hang on then. Chill, 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 chill. After an Ichimok. Why are you all just stood there? I shall end this. Bro, can you Am I missing something? Do you actually need ranged weapons suddenly? Like what is happening? Do something, for crying out loud. No, I think they just can't attack because they're screwed. No tip. Uh, Brucor's getting kind of beat up here. A good shot. That was a mess. I wasn't expecting four of them, but we're mm -hmm. fine. Nice. Uh, we probably camp, honestly. It's fine. Uh, oh, fuck. I haven't checked what these are. Primordials, surely. Right? I'm not even going to get DR. Let's get damage. Half asleep, a tide of deafening whispers assails you, chipping away at your senses, at your mind's understanding of itself. Their roar is louder with each passing night, their attacks more brazen, less confined to your subconscious. A familiar voice fights its way through the din, calling out to you. Hey, hey. You gotta stop it with that. I just about punched you to snap you out of it. Was saying things, but there weren't any words I ever heard. You were shaking so hard, I thought you'd crack your spine. What would I do without a friend to punch me? <laughs> it was nice to feel needed. I'd have woke you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. Your folks don't last long without sleep. You're twitchy these days. Reminds me of Mayorwald more than I'd like. Anything I can do, you just let me know. We're close on this one. Hang on a little longer. We'll get you fixed up. No worries, my guy. Thanks for looking out. Hey. Hey. Hey, come on. Uh, Jarrips are fine. Uh, what's the situation here? Can we just get everybody with their ranged weapons out? No funny business. Oh, you leveled up. Let's do your level up quickly. I don't really know where, we, where we're going with you at the moment. We'll get Survival 10. And I guess we'll get Law. Uh, spell Mastery. Okay, you're going to get a free spell as well. Maybe Dancing Bolts. It's like such a freebie. Or maybe Nature's Vigor. Nature's Vigor is a good spell to have Mastery over. Let's get that. So you can use that for free once per encounter. That's huge. Hey. That is big. Right, go on then. Sunny bunch of Jarrets. There is a champion. Let's get your sword and shield out if you would. Knock that bugger over. Bunch of crap. There is a cave, which may be the cave that, you know, potentially there's something in there that person really, really wants, or it may be something that kills her. Should really have Jurrits involved in all of this, but it is what it is. He's on a paid vacation. Oh, fuck, that made me jump. I don't like all this flapping around. Badly injured. We should be good. Knock it over. It's breathing fire. Knock it over. <laughs> and now shoot it. Hopefully we're getting there. There can't be that many more of them. Keep it he says. Sure. I just want to check. Hurlwood Bluff. Those are going to be the cliffs that we need to go to. for Oh my god, we're going to go there. I'm so excited. We're going to go there. It's going to be great. Didn't mean to do that. 10 out of 10. Oh, dear. Uh, 
You wouldn't. You would, wouldn't you? Oh no, 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 it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Split up though. Consider it. What is this that we're all getting like smoked on? What is this? We're all terrified. Get your mace out, sir. We're okay at the moment. Use your free missiles, you fool. Use your heal companion, you fool. Okay, we're looking good. Just the Drake left. Let's go. Ooh, it's a match just got wrecked. To be fair, we all took a bit of damage there. Let's heal up, no chances. Tell me you've used your... Well, you've got another one. Okay, a bit tough, but we managed it. On the hunt. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Uh, so that's that should be it, unless there's anything on the bridges. Okay. Oh, we've left this amount behind somehow. Come on. I do worry about what's in the cave. Let's have a little recap. We'll probably save the game as well. Let's save the game. Cave nope. Right. Let's have a little... Cinders of Faith. Okay. Okay. Visions of a cave at a place with multicolored pools and a rising waterfall. I don't recognize the white rising waterfall. We'll have to look around. She believed that something there would restore her faith, but she also believed something else there would try to kill her. If I were to find this item for her, she might be able to resume her duties. Rising waterfall? Maybe not. But either way, we're going in the cave. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Tombstone icon indicates a memorial. Thank you. Personalized messages written by our backers. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the info. Right. Oh, it is this cave. We've got to find a token on the gram. This is not my ideal climate. I feel you. Me neither. Rippling waves of heat rise. There's going to be some... How are we in combat already? Aren't we sneaking? Oh, it's a max not sneaking, man. Let's go. Die. Let's go. Okay, 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 pistol. Kill the flame blights. Let's go. Deal with this one. Don't think it's gonna bleed, but shoot it all the same. Let's go. Oh my god, why have I done that? Just don't get involved, Pango. You don't need to be involved. We cannot kill that flame blight. Okay, just kill kill whatever then. I bet you've got your um, free thingies that you aren't using, you pleb. Yeah, that's helpful. Imagine if you'd done that earlier. Keeping quiet. Bunch of crap. Well, not crap, but you know what I mean. Scroll of Revival. Revive with 75 endurance for one second. Oh, we got some uh, camping supplies. That's handy. We'll take it. Hey. Verathus! Hmm. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Never mind. Do it on that one. Lava. 
disengage, it's a Mac. Disengage. I realize it hurts, but. Let's go. Sure. Nice and slow. Okay, the loot's all very samey, but that's fine. Oh, I missed that. Hang on. Hold up. Really? Rippling waves of heat rise. Okay, that wasn't worth the uh, wasn't worth the trip, was it? This is not looking good. What is this? Some kind of pathway that we have to cross? Are we good? Oh god, they're not attacking. Hello. Hi there. Kale the Silent, the Drake cocks its enormous head looking at you. It issues a stream of words directly into your mind. Glowing, burning, spark. You, a Mara thing. You come to take my spark, yes? What's the spark? The Drake coils its body protectively around something. Spark is an ember. Warm, glowing, beautiful. Well, this is what we need, obviously. It turns its head to look at you out of one slit pupil. One day I will become a burning thing. Bright and terrible like my spark. I promise I didn't... Oh, that's lying, though. Oh, I don't want to lie. But it is a dragon. Let's lie. I promise I didn't come to see your spark. Liar! The drake roars. You come to steal it with your cold, dirty paws. Fair enough. This is going to be a fucking disaster. We're dead. We're literally dead. Dead on arrival. Come here. Kill that. Itzimak. Roll out. Everybody else. Split up. All right. What is that? That is a young drake. That is a young drake. Kill the young drake. Uh, you're doing that already. Okay, yep. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be pretty, is it? Just going to go ahead and say it. Use per rest abilities. I repeat, use per rest abilities. Use that on that while you're at it. Use per rest abilities if you would. Alright, we're going to have to switch you. Shoot this one. bit worried about our health over here. I'm going to use the heal. Because I feel like we must be taking a lot of damage. How are we, how are we doing? Is this one dead? Okay. Guys, attack that one with a chimac. I'm here. You've mind controlled it right after I've done that. 10 out of 10. Good job we healed, I guess, but we're okay. Move over, just in case we get AoE spells. Doing a great job, guys. And we did it. Did we? Oh, yeah. What about this one, though? Charmed for 13 seconds. Mm. Your thoughts must flow deeply, indeed. Yes. So how is everyone? <laughs> Four seconds. All right. Oh, settle down. We didn't need to use spells there. Chill out, everyone. Sweet. It's over. All right. Burning stone. A bright orange light blazes from the center of the stone. It radiates intense heat, yet it doesn't burn your hands as you hold it. I hope we can still take this to do her. I'm sure we can. Uh, probably not right now, though. I feel like we ought to take a little break from the city <laughs> just for a little bit. Trap detected. There we go.
Okay. Was that it then? Not quite. Girdle of the Driving Wave grants knockdown. A garnet. There's no reason not to just give it to you or something, yeah? We missed a bit of loot. Okay, awesome. Let's leave. Quickly. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we can run through there. Good to know. All right. That actually worked out pretty well in the end. We finished that quest as well, but I think we'll go to the, um, I think we'll go to the cliffs before we head back. Pearlwood Bluff. Eight hour journey. Hopefully this is where we're going to find Persock, which is awesome. We really wanted to get on with Sagani's quest a long time ago. We have known her a long time. On the hunt. We ignore the supplicant. Like, uh, shit happens, you know. Chapel construction completed. Oh, look at this. We're ripping through. There's still a few more to go. Let's get the training grounds. Do these look like the cliffs from your vision? Presumably, yes. Uh, I don't really know which way we're going. How are we doing ranged weapon-wise? Hello there. What is happening? <laughs> Stuff. I did turn off your magic, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. It's a Mac. I'm getting frightened. I'll off. Get back, you donkey. Go. No, don't fucking pull them. Oh, hello. I'm going to let this play out for a bit before I make my decision on whether to enable magic. Oh, I think we're going to be all right. Knock this big bugger over. Oh no! Didn't see that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Intermax taking a hammering, but we can heal again. Would love it if you guys killed that priest. You know, the one that's healing. There we go. Top stuff, everyone. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Fast mode is... Hits different when you're not in stealth. Okay. I shall be discreet. Okay, looks like the cliffs start there. I want to go to the cliffs last, you know, of the area. Because... Presumably that's the main reason we're here, and I just want to explore the rest of the map first. As is the way. We always have to do the objective last. So it looks like the cliffs go all the way around anyway. St. Gyron's Horn. Oh, okay. We've got bad bad boys, bad boys over there. What are you going to do? Oh, God. You can be arsed with wind blights, man. So there's more of them. Or is that just the lighting? Well, there's that rock, but I think we need to clear some of this shit out, don't we? Let's, Let's engage. Go. Die. <laughs> Let's go. Great stuff. This is not great stuff. Got him. Keeping quiet. All right, we'll come back to that because I presume that's for the uh, the quest. 
Oh, maybe that though. Or that. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff to look at. Oh, I missed that. Let's clear out the enemies first so we don't need to keep... Oh, fuck, there's a few in there. Ah, misclicks galore! Right. I'll stay out of sight. Oh, God, no, the big one. Huh? Never mind. Do do whatever we have to do. Kind of want to get on that caster pretty soon. Are you really gonna? Yeah. Okay. Flank. Flank it to Mac. That's fine. It's not fine. To Mac low. Probably gonna have to heal again. Uh. Yes. ASAP. Gonna use that heal. We're not in a great spot, if I'm honest with you. It's smack down. I don't know. I feel like changing might help. Heravius has been crit and is now kind of fucked. Did you... Oh my god, yeah, he's down. Okay, guys, we need to kill this. We're going to rest. So use your magic. So heal. This is free anyway, you dope. Lava will be on seat. We're taking so much damage. We're not killing it. Ready, watcher. You don't need to heal. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. I don't think I can keep you guys up. You're just taking too much damage. Yep, you're down. Brucor's getting low. Don't really want to use a potion. As long as we're going to kill this thing. I should have knocked it over ages ago. Come on, kill it. We'll rest. It's fine. Bloody pain in the ass, those things, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to rest. And we're just going to leave it as it was. Jolly good. It's like nothing ever happened. Okay, let's begin with this. Which is just a dead adventurer. Fair enough. All right. Go there last. We'll just we'll stealth just in case there's something to see. A lively breeze ruffles your clothes as you approach the edge of the bluff. A cave mouth yawns from the cliff face. It's only a dozen feet below your position, but it's uh, but the weathered rock is too smooth to scale. A rock perches near the precipice. It feels like a sturdy anchor. Oh, we got to climb down to a cave. All right, we're not going to do that yet. As you reach the edge of the bluff, you recognize the exact location from your vision of Persok. He was here not long ago. Sagani stands alert, the Adra statuette in one hand while she scans the cliff. You close your eyes, feeling the ether from some trace of Persok's presence. The darkness behind your eyelids takes shape. You feel Persok running through the forest this time, hurtling and dashing around rocks and trees. The scenery whizzes by too fast, you can't make out the details between the blurred greenery. Something looms out of the trees ahead of you. Persok finally stops in front of an Adra arch. An Adra arch. Do you recognize a natural arch of, made of Adra? We got something like that out in Air Glamfath, across the water from Twin Elms. I know where to look next for Persok. Shame we don't have these. Survival 8. Like, come on, man. I'll follow. In these visions, I don't suppose you're getting a sense for who Persok is now. 
No. At least we're getting closer. Seems like we've made more progress together than I've made in a year. I thought you knew Persoc. I was just a child when he died. I remember fleeting images, but that doesn't mean much now. I talked to everyone in Masuk before I left. I heard that he was a strong leader, a dependable builder, a caring grandfather, a wise elder, a generous neighbor, a cunning negotiator. Everything then. Yes, might as well be one of those impossibly perfect heroes from the Adio epics. Indeed. He was probably all of those things at different times. The odd thing is, many in Masuk weren't much older than me when Persok passed. And yet everyone wanted to make sure he heard about something in particular. Our trade with the Amawa. Our successful hunts. Peace with neighboring villages. She kicks another pebble over the edge. Itumak follows its arc, his ears forward. He was obviously important to your people. It just seems odd that so few of us remember him beyond the things he did for the village. Most of his family members, the ones who knew him, are in their twilight years now. And Persak was too busy to spend much time with his younger relatives. Understandable. Itzimak yawns and impatiently nuzzles her hand. Uh, I'm just going to say I see. Anyway, what about this Theos character you're searching for? Seems like he was someone important to you. What do you remember about him? You're not hinting that Persok is Theos, are you? Because that would be pretty wild. It could be. I don't remember anything about him, if I'm honest. Uh, I think he was an authority figure of some kind. Not a lot to go on, huh? Hopefully you can pick up a few more clues about him while we're running around. Enough chatter from me or Persok will find himself a new body before we even get to this one. Let's go. Persok may be him. Adra Arch in the woods. It says across the river from Twin Elms. So is it here somewhere, or are you saying it's across the river from Twin Elms? Kind of in, implies it's here. Was it? Was the one at Deerford Cross? I don't think we've seen one. We'll have to check. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grapple, well not grapple, repel down the cliff and go into this cave. But I'll have to wait until next episode because we've run out of time once again. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and I will see you next time.